How's it going everybody? This is Sanak here, back for another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we took care of a lot of things. We added a new team member to our team, being Knuckles. We met Blue and... No, we defeated Blue and we met Bill up in top of the cape. And here in the next episode, or in this episode, not the next one. Um, yes, the video's over again, guys. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and take on the gym challenge here. And the leader is Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. Okay, yeah. If you guys are familiar with mermaids, I mean, they've been around forever. This is going to be a um, water type gym. So, you sh uh, what's, it, what's it called? Lotus is going to be perfect for this challenge. So, see what this guy has to say. Yo, champ in the making. Let me give you some advice. The leader Misty is a pro who uses water type Pokemon. You can drain all her water with grass type Pokemon. Or you might use electric type Pokemon and zap them. Very, very useful. Okay, and blue has beat us to it already. Yeah, oh well. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started here with this trainer here. Splash. Um, first up, let's do it. Funny how they're going to be fighting us in the water. But anyway, we got the a new swimmer, I mean, uh, trainer class here being the Swimmer Luis. Um, they actually use a lot of interesting water type Pokemon that we can't even obtain yet, so it's pretty cool. So we have a horsey here. Um, Knuckles is going to suck in this gym, unfortunately. So Lotus is going to be um, a lot of the backbone for this gym. Yeah, yeah, do your like one or two damage. Ah, one, call it. <laughs> okay, Vine Whip. So yeah, the good thing is we got we wow like it was really cool how we got to get Knuckles um, up eight levels <laughs> in the last video. So it was a pretty good training experience. Um, we have Shelter here. This Pokemon's very unique because it's a Water and Ice type. Um, I won't keep Switch training Knuckles. He's gonna have to fight on his own eventually. Anyway, um, just keep using Lotus to knock him out. But yeah, like I said, it's a Water and Ice type. Super effective, shouldn't be that bad. But he is very bulky physically, so it's a good thing that I have Lotus here. Level 22 already, very nice. He's been learning Razor Leaf, which is actually a good move. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it has a high, yeah, high critical hit ratio. Does more than uh, Vine Whip, which is good, but it has minus five accuracy, which shouldn't be that bad. But knowing my luck, it is going to be the worst 5% that is ever going <laughs> to... Uh, it's going to be the worst little percentage for me ever. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm opting to get rid of that one instead of Tackle because I like to have a little bit of variety in my moves because if I got rid of Tackle, um, I wouldn't kind of have that coverage even though Normal is not uh, super effective against anything. Okay, let's go ahead and fight this camper girl. What, you? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. Man, I think she met Blue and kind of, you know, idolizes, idolizes him now. Picnicker Deanna. She's got a Goldeen here. Yeah, all Pokemon that we can't even obtain yet. Very nice. That, like, they had enough water-type Pokemon to keep it, um, to, like, show the variety of them, which is very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and show off our new... Oh, thank god that missed. Let's go ahead and show off our Razor Leaf here. Hopefully it shows off that high critical hit ratio. Ah, very nice. So happy that Lotus learned that move. Okay, Knuckles got some experience, so did Lotus. Very nice. You overwhelmed me! That's right. Okay, so I know we only lost one HP, but it's gonna... I, I really don't know if it's going to matter or not, <laughs> and I want to heal real quick. Alrighty, let's go ahead and show Misty who's boss here. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who've had a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your pro pro approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water type Pokemon. An all-out offensive. Yeah, okay. Alright. See how you... See how you roll. Awesome. So we have Leader Misty. Very, very cool. Um, she's one of my favorite characters when it comes to uh, 
the anime and everything because she's very uh she's very outgoing and very uh how should how should i say this she's very crazy <laughs> so i'm just gonna go ahead and show uh take on star you here um with falco because uh, i just want falco to get some experience in this fight too because the next one is uh, or the next pokemon that's gonna come out is actually really hard so let me see let's go ahead and do a quick attack here yeah it's got harden um yeah, let's go ahead and keep quick attacking and it's got recover very very nice i probably should have just sent lotus out i like to make it suspenseful that's why i guess <laughs> Quit raising your defenses. I should just use Gust if I, I think that would work. Okay, Water Pulse is a very interesting move because it has a chance of uh, uh, confusing your Pokemon. So it's kind of it's a good thing to watch out for that. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to have to send out Lotus. This is getting a little out of hand here. That's what I get for um, just not paying attention to the type matching or type matchup here anyway. Yeah, yeah, should have done that from the beginning. What a waste. <laughs> Alrighty, Razor Leaf, please show us that high critical hit ratio again. <laughs> awesome. Didn't even need the critical hit. Alrighty, Knuckles, get your experience. Literally everyone was a part of that, so. I'm going to stay in because this is her strongest Pokemon, being Starmie, the evolved form of Staryu. So, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, she has Swift... I think tackle also. Um, let me see here. Yeah, she's gonna use this super potion. Swift tackle and I, water pulse, which is the main move that she has. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, come on. Yeah, and the thing about swift, it doesn't matter if you use sand attack or anything, it's always going to hit. And I think it has 60 power, if I'm not mistaken. So, Starmie can be very, very uh, dangerous if not handled quickly. So, it's a good thing that I had Lotus um, for their Brock and Misty. So, which is pretty good. Awesome. And just like that, we defeated Misty. So, wow, you're too much. All right. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. We got 2,100 Poké Dollars. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can now use... Yeah, we can now use Cut anytime outside of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM, which is TMO3 Water Pulse. Teaches Water Pulse. It is an aquatic... Use it on aquatic Pokemon. Tell me what to do. But yeah, Water Pulse is a good move. Um... But yeah, super easy fight, um, despite the little hiccup that we had with Falco. But um, I promise not all the gym leaders are going to be this easy. It's literally just because I have Bulbasaur and <laughs> um, it, it, it covers the matchup very well. So despite that, we actually um, are done here in Cerulean for a bit because we took on the gym leader. And we met Bill, and over here, actually, let's go ahead and explore the town just a little bit. Um, a mysterious blue air, oh, wait, no. a mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Okay, let's see what this house has. I don't think there's anything here for us. Uh, too much time, too little to do. It's not. Is nothing entertaining happening anywhere? I mean, you could have watched our battles at the gym. Don't know why you gotta stay stuck at home. And over here is a Slowbro, the evolved version of Slowpoke, which we actually saw during the training, uh, not training montage, but the speed up that happened. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't it won't get dirty. I mean, I get people admire stuff and not uh, use it a lot. But this is a bike shop, actually. She just said. A plain city bike is good enough for me. After all, you can't put a shopping basket on a mountain bike. I mean, you can, but why would you? <laughs> These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. How expensive are you talking? OK, 
Okay, so we have 13,000 Poké Dollars. Let's see. Welcome to our bike shop. We have got a bike just for you. One million Poké Dollars. Wow, no wonder these people have to walk all over the place. Everyone's so fit because they have to walk. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, we can't even get that amount of money. The most that we can carry is only 900... 900... 99,999. Yeah, so it's, that's all we can carry. Um, but a place to mention, uh, there's two places that I'll show off before we actually move forward. Um, here, I believe if you talk to this old man, hello there, do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you like to trade it for my Jinx? Um, we can't do this trade yet, but um, the, the Pokemon that he wants to trade you, I guess I'll show you the bio already because... Um, just to show that it's here. Uh, but Jinx is actually a very unique Pokemon being an Ice and Psychic type. Um, which heavily, it, it heavily favors off, obviously special attacking. Um, but it's actually a really good Pokemon. There's a, and that's the only way you can get it in the game. So you need to make sure that you can catch either a Poliwag or a Poliwhirl in the wild. Which we can't yet. But um, just make note of that for later. And the other guy here is a guy who kind of talks about pokemon badges um he sees we have at least one so he what he'll do is kind of describe the badges i don't want to show off anything yet i kind of just showed the list a little bit to give you a little teaser of it but anyway he just goes over what the badges do and what happens when you get them but um it's kind of weird that they put that like right there in the beginning but i guess maybe just to hype up people what is this place berry crush um, this is another place that we can use the multiplayer features for, but unfortunately, I cannot show this off. Um, but anyway, uh, moving forward, it's um, I think all it does is that you get items from it. I'm assuming I, I need to look it up more, but, <laughs> but I have never done that feature ever. But anyway, but here, if you haven't defeated Misty, um, this, gu this guard will be blocking the house because... These people were robbed, apparently. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind the most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Man. Wow, yeah, no, they, they ransacked this place. Those miserable rockets. Look what they've done to my house. They stole my stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on my on a Mankey or Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle, it did. Yeah, so I guess we can exit out this way whenever we need to now. And look, I guess this is the rocket who did it. He's just standing guard, <laughs> standing right here, I guess, avoiding the cops. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Um, no. <laughs> um, like how he was telling us to stay out of someone else's yard. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's going to start off with a Machop, um, which is a fighting type Pokemon. Won't go over its bio because... Um, don't have the ability to catch it yet, so yeah. <laughs> okay, he's using Focus Energy, which can cause him to get uh, critical hits easier. So hopefully he doesn't land one right now because uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty strong. So, can be quite scary. Oh my god, it's always 1 HP. Okay, give us some nice experience here. Almost level 19. It's gonna send out a drowsy. This is a psychic type Pokemon. Um, I wouldn't say it's as good as Abra because I think drowsy favors um, physical attack, if I'm not mistaken, which is kind of weird for a psychic type. Oh, and he got hypnosis on his name. Um, yeah, but a drowsy is kind of a weird Pokemon. Like I said, favors heavily uh, physical attacks. Uh, but not bad either, so. Come on, Falco, wake up. Okay, and disable is a very interesting move too because it does exactly what it says. It will disable a move after you've used it. I don't, I don't know how many turns. I think maybe three to five, if I'm not mistaken. Cool, so finally he's awake. Wow, that was... Good. <laughs> Didn't have to use it multiple times and put up with it. Cool. So Knuckles is level 19 now. And that's it. That takes care of you. 
Stop, I give up. I'll leave quietly. Hell yeah, get out of here. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Okay, so we got TM28, which is dig. I better get moving. See what happens if we try to return it to the guy. I figures what lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. All right, I guess we can keep it. <laughs> yeah, so we get a little TM as a reward for just doing that. Um, just shows um, how das uh, dastardly um, Team Rocket is. But I'm going to heal up real quick before we move forward. Yeah, so I think that's all we can do here in uh, Cerulean City. So the only way to uh, get out of here and move forward is to obviously head out through here again. And and since we don't have the ability... Oh my god, I almost jumped over that again. Um, since we don't have the ability to cut trees down, so we couldn't go out through this way. And then which was this? Trainer tips. Pokemon can be made hold... Okay, so yeah, just trainer tips there. Um, nothing over this way. And we actually have a new route here, being Route 5. There are two, um, if I'm not mistaken, there are a couple new Pokemon here. Let's see if we can find one of them. I know one of them is Meowth. Hey, we found one. <laughs> so cool. Let's go ahead and go over Meowth a little bit. Um, Meowth is actually a good Pokemon because, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, Chugga Conroy actually used one for his Fire Red left Let's Play. And it's actually a good, very speedy Pokemon. And what it really heavily favors is obviously speed. Um, and what it does is that it will obviously move first a lot of the times to get off like and chip, uh, chip Pokemon a lot of their HP and use uh, kind of like... Oh, gosh, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> um, it uses this move called Fake Out, which is obviously really good. To, like, what it does is it flinches the opponent, but it's a really good Pokemon. I honestly can recommend it if you um, um, if you like Meowth. But personally, I won't be using one. Uh, I'm just going to capture it for the Pokedex real quick. Alrighty. Yeah, now we caught the Meowth already. Um, and another thing to note that's here on this route is the, um, the Pokemon Daycare. So, he runs a daycare service. Would you like to raise a Pokemon? Um, sure, why not? I'll show this off. Um, I'll go ahead and leave this Meowth that we've caught. Look after your Meowth for a while. Come see me in a while. So, basically what it does is every time you take a step, um, the Pokemon will actually gain experience. So, one step equals one experience. And it will just honestly keep leveling up your Pokemon. It's a good way to kind of get like a really low level Pokemon that you caught and just kind of like raise it up. So literally just doing this back and forth gains you all that experience. Um, however, it does, it, what it does is it will, if your Pokemon learns a move at the daycare, it will honestly keep overriding the, the, the service, oh, not the service, um, the move. Um, I'm actually going to head back to Cerulean and pick up a Pokemon real quick um, while, while I'm going over that. But the daycare service is good for if you want to raise up a Pokemon. But every time it goes up one level, you have to pay an extra 100 Poke Dollars. So if your Pokemon gone up, has gone up um, uh, 20 experience or 20 levels, you're going to have to pay like 20, uh, to an extra 2,000 on top of the 100 that he already charges. So um, it's, it's all right. It's pretty cool. Uh, but I, I personally won't be using it um, all the time because nah, it's just not really for me. Um, I'm, also, I, I'm the reason why I'm picking up the Nidoran female here. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll cut back to when we head back to that little underground area that we were just in. Okay, here back at the daycare center, and the underground area that I was talking about is here. If you talk to this little girl, hi, do you have a Nidoran female? I'd like to trade it for my Nidoran male. Um, I already have a Nidoran male. Um, and since Nidoran females are more common in this game, I don't mind going later and capturing another one. I'll, I want to show off what the in-game trades are like. Very cool, because this is the game that they introduced the wireless trading. This was back in 2003. Jeez, time flies. 16 years ago. Got Mr. Nito. 
And that and, and it's hilarious because throughout the Pokemon series Thanks, you're a pal. Um the the funny thing about all the traded Pokemon, they have terrible nicknames. So it's just kind of funny to get them. Um and the, they're always going to be holding an item. So it's kind of useful if you're if you're not gonna use the Pokemon, at least just kinda of pick up the item that they have. But yeah, we have Mr. Nito here, so. We're just going to go ahead and deposit him the next time we run into a Pokemon Center. Here in the underground path, literally it's just a straight up path uh, heading to the other side. So there's nothing really much of interest here. Um, we'll, I'll be coming back to see with an, an item that we have because I think there's a lot of hidden items in under the uh, underground. People often lose things in the darkness of the gas. So she just kind of explains it there. Um, there's a lot of hid hidden items, but I don't know the exact location. Okay, we made it here to Route 6. I don't think there's any new Pokemon here. We got a Citrus Berry over here, which is very nice. Oh, and the reason why I went under through the underground path, because if you come through this way, the guards won't let you through. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, the road's closed. Um, it's clearly not, but the guard's just thirsty and he's, um, you know, being annoying and just wants to cause a roadblock. Uh, I'm going to try to skip as many trainers as I can because uh, there's a lot more enemies here to train, or trainers here to train on. Um, so let's see what we can do to skip by. Awesome. A little routes here. Okay, so let's go ahead and these two are required, unfortunately. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Yeah, let's see what kind of Pokemon is it, it are they Pidgey because usually these picnickers always have Pidgeys hey would you imagine that <laughs> level 16 all right come on knuckles you don't have really great moves for oh I could teach him dig actually so or I need to look up look it up real quick just in case it would be worth it because sometimes uh the the NPCs will tell you that like oh I was teaching it on this Pokemon but they'll learn it through level up so you'll kind of waste the TM um, it's usually better to uh, use TMs on Pokemon that don't learn the move normally so that way you don't waste it okay come on knuckles I know you can defeat this Pidgey no problem just don't get critical hit on and Obviously, the game ignores me. <laughs> I'm surprised that Knuckles is actually moving faster than that Pidgey. And a really good experience there, so... Uh, let's go over to Falco to give him experience. Alrighty, Falco. Show your younger sibling or, or cousin here that you can get always get critical hits with these uh, quick attacks. They're very nice. Awesome, so Falco's really good. Things just didn't work. Well, obviously, you need to train other than Pidgey, or train Pokemon other than Pidgey. Huh, you wanna talk to me? I'd rather not, but due to the rules of the game, you're kind of forcing yourself to talk to me. Camper Jeff. Okay, so he's got a Spearow here. Okay, so yeah, Knuckles is gonna do us do nothing good for us here, so. Again, I'm gonna send out Falco. Hopefully we can get another critical hit with a quick attack. Critical hit, quick attack. Nice. I thought it was like a tongue twister, but no. Uh, but now it's, it's really good damage that Falco's outputting for like a move that's not that like hard hitting. Cause I think it only has a 40 base power. I need to check out Falco's stats just to see how, uh, how high it is. And wow, this trainer's actually learning to use evolved Pokemon, because that will help out better than the unevolved ones. Yeah, yeah, do your tail whip. This is actually kind of crazy how, um, oh yeah, here's the move. How much damage is that? Holy crap. Yeah, no, you want to be careful with this because uh, that is a very strong move, and down goes Falco. Wow, that's crazy strong for just being four levels under. Yeah, um, I kind of want to see if Knuckles will be faster. I really doubt it. Oh, uh, yeah, they're going to be dumb and use Tail Whip. <laughs> anyway, so I guess Knuckles will get the experience. 
Very nice. Almost level 20. This stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. We'll get good. <laughs> and awesome. With that, we made it here to Vermilion City. Um, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon real quick. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. We got quite a little bit done here. We got to a new city. We took on Misty and got our second gym badge. So hopefully here in the Vermilion City, we'll go ahead and explore and see what it has to offer. I want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.